اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله عدد كمال الله وكما يليق بكماله We're continuously reminded that we need to follow the footsteps of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is not something that is new. But we need to study the seerah in a way in which it relates to us, to me as an individual, the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he had his life in Mecca, he وسلم, had his life in Medina Munawwara. The Prophet وسلم, had the li his life before becoming a prophet, after becoming a prophet, after receiving the revelation. And an individual will continuously find, depending on where and which stage an individual is in in one's life, we will find example, examples in the life of the Messenger وسلم. And we need to seek that out. We need to seek that out in the seerah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as to where I am at in my life and how I can find that in the life of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and how the Prophet sallallahu acted at that given time. You know, there were times when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in difficulty. How the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam enacted in those times. There were times when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a host, was a guest, was a traveler, and so on and so forth. We need to find those things and we need to bring that example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam into us. But in order for that to happen, we will have to look for it. And in order to look for it, we will have to study the seerah. Um, and we can't expect, you know, people sometimes, people especially born Muslims, we sometimes feel that, oh, I know the seerah. And honestly, we just know sort of the bullet points about the seerah. We really don't understand in depth uh, the seerah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so, you know, we need to understand in depth the seerah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bring it into our lives. Um, it's not a choice. Right? It's, not, you know, it's not like, oh, I want to do this. We can't cater. It's like, I want to do this, I want to do this, and I don't want to follow this sunnah. We must follow all the sunnahs of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the best of our, of our ability. And if we do, we will find success. And if we don't, we'll still live a life, but it won't be a meaningful life. And during the month of Rabi'ul Al Awwal, uh, we remind ourselves um, of this great blessing and ni'mah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to have come to the face of this earth. And we utilize this as a time in order to um, encourage ourselves that uh, as we celebrate Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we celebrate his actions and we bring those actions into our lives.